Welcome to Hook and Look Splash, a splash of angling information with an underwater point of view. This week's splash shows you how to effectively use hummingbird side imaging to find irregular features holding bass underneath floating boat docks. One of the most thorough and quickest ways to find productive structure under floating boat docks is with hummingbird side imaging technology. With the screen set to view right only and the range at 60 feet, we idled by surveying for irregular features. Now is, is that rock on there? Is that what we're seeing there? That, that's a, those are pieces of rock. Look at that. Wow. Just a, like right a there. little ledge type deal there or something? Now it's going off. Huh. I mean, look at that. Wow. What do you say we compare our screen image with our hook and look point of view? Follow the yellow arrow, which indicates our current underwater location and heading in contrast to the screen. As Danny and I make our approach from the deep along the smoother bottom beneath the dock, we begin to pick up the irregular rocky features and fish. Got a couple out here in front of me, actually a pretty good school. I got about four. Some good size too. All big school down here. With a big boulder, there's a big rock. It's out of the ordinary, and there are all kinds of schools up around it. Now let's stop the video to fully comprehend the subtleties we're detecting on the screen. The yellow arrow is pointing at the big rock Danny mentioned. You can see the rock shadow cast by the side imaging along with the adjacent log. You can pick up fish in the shadowed areas best. I mean, you can really see the irregular feature on this deck is this rock. That's it too, a bunch of flat ground and then a couple big boulders. Right on the edge of the outside of the dock and the inside. As we follow this fish along the top step of the ledge, you can easily see the peaks and valleys of the ledge as it descends. It's this irregularity which has attracted these fish to this particular dock. Two more returns I want to point out are the suspended bluegills on the deeper end of the dock and the image of the large ball of threadfin shad. To view additional Splash podcasts, simply visit hookandlook.com.